Well, I'd like to use this design to show you that there's a tool on the GCAD Plus drop-down menu. If we go to GCAD Plus and copy along a line, that starts a command called copy along line. And although it was designed originally to put symbols onto some sort of layout, maybe for an orchard, you can also use it to copy other symbols. And here's a little symbol for a Toro Waterbird Micro Butterfly Spray System. So if we initiate the command, which is copy along a line, the prompt says pick the plant symbol to copy. Well, we ignore the fact that it's not a plant symbol. And then notice that the prompt says select the copy path, which can be a line or a polyline or an arc, or a circle, or even a rectangle. And uh, we're now going to pick the path. So let's say this arm of the irrigation plan, we'd like to put a symbol along. And for a, a start point, I've put a point marker along here. And points can, you can snap to a point. Points are known as nodes. So my start point can be there. And now I'm prompted for the input spacing. This is a, a metric system, so we want to space them one and a half metres apart. And we hit enter, and in they go. And once they're in, these lines through here, of course, are the same length. So it would just be a matter of copying them three times to fill in that zone. And we can do the same use the copy along command here it is again we can this time repeat and select the copy path let's pick this small one and we can use our node and latch on to that point there and again type 1500 and in the symbols go so you can see that although it works very nicely uh, where you are using plant symbols uh, it can be used very effectively to put in lots and lots of micro-irrigation symbols in this particular instance. Well, I've copied those symbols across, so we now have a zone where irrigation symbols are applied at the end of a drip irrigation line, or not, not a drip line, but an irrigation line. Just to back off a little, these lines here are connected to this horizontal line in the diagram then to a uh, larger diameter line and here's the main line coming in there's a controller sitting in the system so it's a complex irrigation system but I wanted to use the des design while we have it to just show you how you would normally use the copy along a line it's designed for putting symbols at regular intervals along a line so Let's imagine that this area through here is going to be planted to grapevines and I've brought in a, a symbol of Vitus vinifera and I'll just try using that copy along line again. So we pick our symbol and then pick the copy path. So let's come in here, we pick the path. Then we want to input a start point for the copy. Notice how it's jumping into an O-snap um, doesn't find quite what I'm after. You see, I want it to jump to, I want it to jump to a point which is sitting in there. So a point is a node. So I switch on node, and now I can find it. And the next prompt says the spacing dif distance 1500, and in goes our symbol uh, sitting closely, of course, to the micro irrigation system under it. So it's a very convenient way to work. So again, it's just a matter to copy those as a group four times across and run the system again. So it's a very convenient and quite versatile command uh, when you are laying out all sorts of designs. Well, when you are using the copy along line tool, it is important to recognize that your shapes, in this case, and a block representing a vine can have different orientation and that will affect the copy along line. So if I use the 
command now, I can right click and because the command was in use a short time ago, it's there on the convenient pop-up menu, so we'll pick it from there rather than get it from the GCAD Plus drop-down. And I'm going to pick the same symbol that I just used, but this time it's been oriented uh, 90 degrees um, around. And so I now pick the copy path. The input, the start point, will be pick up that node that was there and the input distance still the same. So the only thing that's changed is the orientation of the block. doesn't matter, of course, if it's one of the standard symbols from the GK Plus library, because most of those are spherical. We hit enter, and in they go. Of course, you can recover fairly easily by, if you've, especially if you've got polar on, as I do at the moment, we can just pick the symbol and click it around. But just remember, that the orientation of your block is going to influence the final result. Well, we can take this design a little further. In this vineyard area, we have blocks that represent the micro-irrigation sprays, but we also have blocks for the symbol representing the vine. So GCAP Plus gives you an ability to get quantities out of a design such as this. So you can go to GK plus drop down and what we're after is to look at the blocks. We're going to extract block data and in this case we can extract all blocks from a particular area and we're only interested in this area here. So we take a little care not to include little blocks that are at the end of an irrigation line. So I'll just put a box around those and just show you that we may get a highlight, see how we've highlighted that particular one. So we can hold the shift key down and get rid of that. We've missed uh, one of the symbols here. And I can pick those up. So I have all these symbols now in that area, a mixture of irrigation devices and the vines that need to be planted. So I can hit enter at that point and up pops a dialog box, a save as box. We can go to the desktop and let's call it a vineyard. What that's going to do is to extract a list of all of the blocks in that area. It'll get their name. In fact, it'll get the, the coordinates of their position on the plan and a lot of other information about layers and so on. So we can click save and that'll put a file on the desktop cool vineyard with the extension CSV and CSV files can be loaded into your favorite spreadsheet. So let's save the file as our next stage. Well, I'll now start my spreadsheet, which in my instance is Excel. So I can come down here and find Excel and fire it up. And I'll say I'm going to have a blank workbook and in Excel and in all other spreadsheets, you'll find the same ability. You would go to some sort of data folder or drop down menu. And from text CSV, we're going to load the information that we want. So we can navigate to our desktop. There's our vineyard CSV file. And we can say, well, let's import it. And the Excel formats allows us to look at the data. So you see we're going to have a column for a number, then the name and the X and Y coordinates, the layer and any key information that we might have stored with the symbol. So there's a lot here, but I can load it now and that'll give me a nicely formatted spreadsheet where I can start to manipulate things. So the data is out of the drawing and now in a spreadsheet. Well, I think the first thing that I do is to hide some columns that we don't need. So I'll pick column A, which we... I was going to say we don't need, but we might leave it just for the moment. But we can select columns C, D, E and F and right-click and hide those. So now we're left with number and name. And so quite clearly now um, we've got... From 1 to 19, we've got 19 um, 
irrigation devices that we need, the micro butterfly, and then we've got from 20 to 38, so we've got 18 vines to be planted. So that gives us some quantity. You could do things like select and insert a row here and then use an Excel formula to count the number of um, text entries above it. So that's the count if function. Well, I used in cell C21, I used the formula count if the range C2 to C20, where there is any text at all, it'll count that particular number. So we can now pretty things up a little. We could say we'll now hide that column. We've got in column one the total of micro butterfly. So we can simply select that that range and hide the rows in there. So we now have the total of the micro butterflies and we can do exactly the same for the vines as well. So I think you can see you can take an awful lot of data from GCAD Plus, push it across into spreadsheets, provided the data is contained in blocks or blocks are used to hold the data, you can bring all that information across and total things up and get quantities out very nicely. And you can even do a, a snip and copy this as an image file and put it back into your GCAD Plus drawing. So I hope that helps show the versatility of the copy along command and some of the other tools that you'll find in GCAD Plus.